the main event. Giga the Ninja Chikadze gets the TKO round three victory over Edson Barbosa, man. You called it. And I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to believe it, man. I didn't want to buy into the hype of Giga Chikadze. I was already singing the man's praises, but I say Edson Barbosa is getting the Jose Aldo treatment. However, there was one thing that I said in the pre-show that I think alluded to how this fight played out. And I said it was going to be somewhat similar to Casey Kenny versus Song Yadong, where Casey Kenny, you know he has to sit down on his shots to really be effective. And Song Yadong used that to his advantage and just picked him apart every time he sat down. It seemed like the same exact thing happened here, except the difference was I got to eat some crow. I said, Giga Chikadze, you really only need to worry about the feet and the legs because the hands aren't really doing it. And he said it in the post-fight presser. He says, yeah, man, I was doing all these kicks. I was smacking them to the liver, doing all that stuff. And then I almost forgot about my hands until I said, wait, hold on. I got bombs here too. Come on. You know what I'm saying? He started letting the hands go and that's what got the job done right there. Um, but comment really quickly, AJ, because um, this is something that I predicted a little bit. I said that what happens when Chikadze hits Barbosa with the liver kick and Barbosa says, all right, what's next? What else you got? Because that's exactly what happened right there. Uh, just give me your take on that. Yeah, it's it's uh, exactly what happened right there. And not only did uh, once Chikadze hit Barbosa with the liver kick and Barbosa just ate it, Barbosa gave him one right back and it, it hurt Chikadze. He started turning. He started, you know, retreating. I thought I was like, oh, shit, Giga just got the Giga treatment. Damn. Like I was I was literally watching the fight like, oh, what? Like I did not expect that to happen at all. Uh, he looked like Giga looked like he was hurt and he was feeling it for the first time. Like, damn, somebody else kicked me where I kick everyone else, man. A little little taste of his own medicine. It was absolutely very surprising. Yeah, man. I will have to say that it seems to be the case that people, even though they know when, like when Giga goes southpaw, you know what's coming and nobody could stop it. Barboza had a little bit of success in the first round where he was checking it, right? He was checking, they were both checking all of each other's kicks, right? But you can't do that for five rounds, <laughs> you know what I mean? After a while, you're going to start getting tired. You're not going to be as quick, and that kick is going to land in there. Uh, he did say Barbosa felt that he's the biggest, strongest dude that he has fought in the UFC so far. But overall, man, Chikadze looked clinical. He looked surgical, and he looked ready for the moment, man. He said it time and time again. He was supposed to get a top five. He took Barbosa because he's a big name. And he says it's Giga time, man. Like, come on, jump on the train. Let's rock. Let's get it. I do think, and I said it before, I do think Giga will be a champion one day, man. I didn't think he'd be able to get past the test of Edson Barbosa, but he did. And he drops Barbosa down to two and two in the featherweight division, man, which is really, really interesting. Nonetheless, there's a lot of different places the man can go. And uh, his ground game was a little impressive too, because we both said, no, nah, we don't think this one's going to the ground. And I asked you, I said, what are the chances that this does, right? And what happens? Giga actually initiated the ground game, not because he was hurt, but because Barbosa was hurt. And he decided he was trying to get the choke. Shout out to Benny Dariush. Didn't get the job done, but he got the TKO finish. I just want you to comment lastly, man. Do you think it was a little bit of an early stoppage? Slightly, mm -hmm. slightly, yes. I definitely think uh, there was a chance where if if it would have been stopped a little, either a little earlier, I'd have been like, oh, okay, like he was, he was basically out, he was hurt. But you know, he gave him that extra split second, and Barbosa started to stand up and looked really good. He looked in it, so I would say early stoppage. Like it, it was, it was right there. Um, another thing, though, you don't you don't want to take too much damage. But I think it was right, like right there where you could have let it go. What do you think? Well, once again, this is why the, the referees, you know, they got the hardest job in the game, right? Because you, if you're a good referee, nobody's supposed to know who you are. If you're a bad referee, then everybody knows who you are, right? But I will say, I thought it was a tad bit early. However, I do think that all we were doing was prolonging the inevitable. I thought that the, the fight probably would have got finished regardless. Giga, the momentum had shifted at the end of the first round, and it was all Giga from there. Um, listen, man, this is a huge win by the ninja giga chikaze and now he claims the title as the best striker in the ufc and he calls out max holloway because max holloway says he's the best boxer he says well guess what boxing is a part of striking so let's find out who's really the best striker um so far giga claims the throne um he's on a nine fight win streak dude you know what i mean this is his third tko victory in a row and he is now seven and zero in the ufc which is so so impressive not nearly the killer hit list that barbosa has under his belt but he's racking them up now cup swanson and Edson Barbosa back to back is no easy task. And I think Swanson had never been uh, finished that way prior to Giga putting it on him like that. So super duper impressive, man. My question to you is I, I already said it myself, I proclaimed it, but do you think, do you, AJ, think that Giga Chikadze is going to be a future champion in the featherweight division? 
Oh yeah, hundred percent, without a doubt. I think Giga not only has the mindset, but he has the skill set to be able to do it. And man, those those kicks and that striking or something else. But like you said, we were able to see a little bit of ground game from Giga. Man, that ground game was on point. He was looking good. He didn't get trapped in anything super crazy. I see a, a gold belt wrapped around Giga's waist, and especially in the in the. Uh, 145 pound division, bro. This is going to be crazy to see Max Holloway, Calvin Cater, Alexander Volkov, Ryan Rectega. Like, there's so many interesting fights going forward. And I definitely think Giga is going to be in the mix and one of the top dogs, a champion soon enough, maybe within the next year or two. I think it's going to be a quick rise for Giga. And hopefully, he's able to defend it for quite a while, man. It's, uh, I'm, I'm excited to see. What you think. Yeah, man. I, I agree. The only question that I have, man, is what happens when he fights a power wrestler, man? You know, because I don't think we've really seen that yet. Like a power wrestler who could strike too, like a Volkanovsky, basically. What happens when a Volkanovsky who stays in your face, who basically, Basically, so Chikadze, one of his keys to victory against Barbosa is he crowded Barbosa, and that's what you need. Barbosa likes to set it up with rhythm and timing, and he likes to have space so he could jump in, hit you with a kick. I don't know if you saw, but in the beginning, he was trying to land those calf kicks, and Chikadze just kept the distance, like like a karate striker does. You know what I mean? It was almost perfect. So matchups, matchups mean everything, right? I mean, there's a reason why Holloway lost to Volkanovski twice, arguably. Um, but ultimately, man, <laughs> but ultimately, a win is a win is a win. And Giga Shikadze, man, now he jumps up. Hopefully, he gets someone in the top five. Nonetheless, he should move up the rankings. And uh, I think that we can call it with that one.